So this video was inspired by a comment left on my YouTube channel about Avalons, the Toyota Avalon, the fact that they're fantastic. Other people say Avalons cost too much. Uh, people say Avalons are top tier cars, wondering why nobody wants them anymore. This is based on a video called Cars Nobody Wants. So I started doing some digging, some deep diving to figure out uh, why do people like them? And then why aren't people liking them? On the opposite side, why doesn't anybody want these when they are obviously liked by some people enough so where they bought them and hang on them, hang on to them for years. So here is the, the truth behind the numbers and why this is the last year. Yeah, big surprise. This is the last year for the Toyota Avalon. So in 2005, it came out in the U.S. and sold over 95,000 units, as they say. And then it dropped for the next few years. And then in 2008, in 2009, and in 2010, Okay, back it up. Between 2009 and 2012, less than 30,000 cars were sold. And then they had a big resurgence in 2013, 70, almost 71,000 cars were sold in the U.S. But since that point, it has been downhill consistently since 2013. Looking at 67,000, 60,000, 2016 it was 48,000, then dropped it down to 32,000. And then in 2020, 18,000, 18,000 again in 2021. And as of this recording, which is the uh, end of July, the first six months of the year, just over 8,000 cars were sold for 2022, which means people are recognizing that it's not going to come back. Why do I invest in this? When a manufacturer puts out there, this is our last model year, people are kind of like, well, what's going on? Why aren't we? Why aren't you making those anymore? Are you not confident in your vehicle? Or people would say just the opposite. Let me get my hands on one before they're gone. I think most likely it's because uh, they're not making them anymore. And people are going, why would I even want to invest in one of these when there can't be a new model? And then this too. So the 2022 Avalon has an MSRP range between 36 and 44, $40,000. Yeah, $44,000. But this year, the changes include no more all-wheel drive. They discontinued the TRD model. And this is uh, the model that's in 2022 as part of their fifth uh, generation that was introduced in 2019. It's only one of the few vehicles left in the large sedan class. So the Impala, for Taurus, they're all gone. So you got the Avalon, the Dodge Charger, and the Chrysler 300 as the final vehicles in the large sedan class and they're discontinuing it. So that's, you know, why even bother with it in the future? It's got some decent uh, features available. Uh, it's got a 301 horsepower V8. Uh, people like the ride, they say it's comfortable, but for some reason, you know, the cabin is just decent. Technology is so-so, a nine inch touchscreen, which is, I guess, you know, somewhat good. Cargo space is average. Economy, 25 city is the mixed driving number. I'm sorry, make that 22 city, 31 highway, 25 is the mixed driving number. And uh, I don't know, there's only a few trims available, XLE, Touring, and Limited, just three. So you have the front wheel drive, the 3.5 liter V6, again, the 301 horsepower, 267 pound feet of torque, eight speed automatic transmission. A uh, hybrid version is available for 2022, but no one cares because uh, they're not gonna have one next year. So what's wrong? Why? Are the sales down? So I checked Canadian sales uh, in Canada. So they go back as far as 2012, but less than 500 cars were sold. They had a big jump in 2013, 1,200 cars. And then since then, it's been a, a downward uh, slide. Last year in 2021, 167 cars. So far this year, the first six months of 2022 in Canada, one car. That's the numbers I have. This is from good car, bad car, Dot net and that's the numbers I'm getting so I'm very surprised at what's going on do you think it's just because they're discontinuing the Avalon is why the numbers are you know in the hole or you know you know pretty bad right now in the toilet for the last five six years uh, ten years it's been sliding down ever since so I don't know I'm it's more of a question to you what's wrong with it people seem to like it at least in the comment section they go, hey, I, I like this car. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it's an old person car. I can't quite tell. Maybe the price is too high for what uh, is available these days. 
So you need to chime in. Let me know what you think. I think it's a fine car, but hey, I'm not the one driving it. You're the one driving it. Let me know in the comment section below what's wrong with the 2022 or just the Toyota Avalon in, in general. Love to hear your thoughts. Adios. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.